This is Chuck and uh, thanks for stopping by the shop. Very quick video. Thought I'd just share uh, something with you. Um, some time ago, and I've done a video on this, but some time ago I saw this caddy, a vice caddy, uh, on Instagram. It was on uh, Laney Machine Tech. And uh, I thought, boy, that's, that's pretty cool. I wish I could draw it. And uh, Adam is the instructor over there, and he actually, um, I think he did share the file uh, with me. I can't, it's been a while, I can't remember to be honest with you. It was for a four inch vise. Um, subsequent to that, uh, I went on Thingiverse and I downloaded a vise caddy for a six inch Kurt vise. We'll go down to the vise and look at that real quick to start the discussion. But this isn't my idea, but I'm, I'm just a very much a beginner in fusion, and uh, I decided to uh, tackle making my own design. And we're going to run through that real quick, and I hope you enjoy it. So let me uh, reposition the camera. We're going to go down to the mill, talk about that one for a couple minutes, and then uh, we'll come back and look at what... Uh, what I actually uh, 3D printed. Here we are at the mill. It's on the six inch Kurt, and this is uh, a design that I got down off a of Thingiverse, and uh, it's a nice design. He did a nice job. And the way it works, you got the uh, jaw bolt holes that you use, and it's set up. I get by the camera and see what you're seeing. He's got a little slots there for it to go in. And I didn't care for this space in between here, but heck, he drew it, somebody drew it, it fits on there. And I found, you know, I, I keep my uh, edge finder in there, center drill, spotting drill. Usually the chuck key gets dropped in there, my scale, and maybe some, a couple of end mills. I found it useful. Um, currently, or I should say prior to that, I had these items, the, the edge finder and everything, and a little box over on the wall there. Been happy with it. Chips do get in it. It's part of being on a, on a mill. And chips do burn the plastic and can stick in it. Hey, you can just print another one one of these days if I need to. Been happy with it so far. So let's go down and I'll show you what, uh, what I printed for the 4-inch uh, uh, Kurt Weiss. Okay, here's the 4-inch Kurt Weiss that I refurbished the other day. I'm not going to pull these two uh, bolts out. We'll talk about that. But my first thing I did is I printed just a tray. And these, I, I downloaded this. Uh, I've got a whole selection of trays, different sizes and things. And uh, uh, this was done in millimeters. I think it was uh, 100 by 50 by 25 millimeters. And it uh, fits real nice on the back of there. And so I first came out and said, hey, you know, this is fine. And I actually did this, the other Kurt Weiss I did for my buddy, I had printed him a tray like this, and I had put a bolt hole, put a hole through here where you could bolt into the adjustment uh, screw, uh, screw for the uh, for the vise. And you can't take it off very quick. So I came out, I set it there, and I went, ah, eh, maybe some magnets. Maybe some Velcro, uh, maybe a bolt, and I went, nah, time to go figure this out and draw something. So I went in, and I worked away at it, and like I said, I am just a beginner in fusion, and I drew this guy up, and yeah, the, the walls are thin, but I put the uh, section in here for the bolts, and it turned out, that I didn't make the bolt holes, didn't make it big enough. But if I turn the heads down on the bolts, then it would slide into it and work perfect. And there you go. Nice little caddy on there. So I was pretty happy with that. Nice, and I, I showed it on Instagram and on uh, Facebook. And some comments went back. Everybody kind of liked it and stuff. One guy made a comment, hey, the sidewalls are pretty thin. And I agreed. So I said to myself, well, time to, uh, time to redo it. So 
version two. Version two, basically, same thing. I think, let me just double check. So here, in version two, I made it so a regular 3 8 bolt head would fit into there. Hey, nice. Well, fits onto here, real nice. But it turns out, even though I have the bolt head correct, I don't have enough meat here. So the unit, when it's sitting on here, it's sitting on the point of the bolt and it's sitting too high off the vise based on these holes. So, said, so what the hell, this works nice. Hey, pretty good. I forgot to get something. Bear with me for a second. Okay, I'm back. So, in the second design, I said, hmm, it'd be kind of nice to have a little recess here for very small drill bits. That would fit in there. Small vise, going to be doing some intricate work maybe. That would work out really nice. Yeah, but you know, I put this one small drill bit in there and I went, boy, it just barely fits. Hmm. Better go on to version three. So, version three, I went at it again and I opted not to mess with the bolt. bolt uh, depths and things and partially um, because of the depth right in here to this surface I didn't know if I had enough to put this recess in further so what I basically did on this one uh, you can see it's a different color blue I ran out of this blue so I just went to a new reel fits on there nice and now I've got a much longer slot in there and it's really easy to pick up a small little drill bit rather than being down in the bottom of the tray you can see I can't get my fingers on it amongst other items that would be in there so kind of happy with that design um, just out of curiosity here's a number two number two drill bit uh, even fits in there but I really my idea was this would be for very very small items so that you could not have to dig down in the uh, bottom of the tray. So, this is uh, where it ends. Um, like I said, I didn't come up with this idea. I saw it there on uh, Adam's uh, Instagram. And uh, it's been pushing me to, to, uh, to draw. Um, and so uh, these are about, it's about a four hour print is how long it takes. This one, of course, these have the thicker walls, and uh, it's a nice little addition to the vise. I'm happy with it. This, these are 3 8 bolts. Just basically had to turn the head down so that it fit in there. I'm not going to, uh, not, I'm not going to worry about it. That works fine like that. If I uh, feel the uh, the need, I may go dry, try and redraw it and get a regular standard bolt to uh, bolt head to work there, so you don't have to play with turning it, but. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. Um, that's all I got. And uh, I just want to make uh, another comment regarding uh, Laney, Laney Machine Tech is a channel on, um, on uh, where is it? Is it there? Yeah, there it is. Laney Machine Tech. Um, Adam is the teacher at Laney College over in Oakland. And... Uh, He's got some uh, videos, they're about an hour long each, and very educational. Uh, it's for his students, but they're there that you can actually watch them. And uh, one of them is uh, building an angle block, and uh, I forget what the second one is. I'm not through them all yet, but it's, it starts right from the get-go of, uh, of um, the, the uh, sheet, uh, the steps, and all the various steps that you take, reading the drawing and showing you all the different locations and the uh, different items that show parallelism and on and on. Uh, I love learning and uh, there's a lot there to learn and he's uh, doing a really nice job. Anyway, that's all I got. Um, thanks for uh, stopping by the channel. And in closing, I just wanted to uh, say to all 
that uh, commented on my video of my mentor Chewy. Uh, I really appreciate appreciate all your comments on it, and uh, I'll leave it at that. Take care, guys.